Hey guys, welcome to Evidential Tech. My name is Evidence. In this video, I'm going to give you a full review of Windows operating system versus Chrome operating system. So let's start. The first thing is home screen. This is what the home screen in Windows look like. And this is what the home screen in Chrome operating system looks like. So on the home screen, you can add any app that you want to Windows home screen. So for example, I can take um, something like this and just drag it and add it to Windows. But in Chrome, you will not be able to do that. When you click this, let me say this, something like this. Yeah, you can't add you can't add anything to the home screen in Chrome. Let me close this and show you from here. Yes, you can't add anything on the home screen of Chrome operating system. And um, that's one of the things. Next thing is the launcher. In Chrome, this is what the launcher looks like. When you click this, you get a Google search bar and then you get a recently used apps. And when you click on this arrow, it shows you all the apps that you have and you still have the search bar on top. That's what Chrome OS launcher looks like. Windows launcher, when you click on this, this is what Windows launcher looks like. And when you click on this, you see I'm um, extended versions of everything. And let's say you extend this. And of course you can extend this. Let me see here. Let me get it. Yes, and you can um, add things over here if you want to. But me, I don't like having this here. I like having a clean launcher so you can just close this and this is what your launcher looks like in windows operating system up next um, is notification and action center in windows you have th these icons here and you can click this arrow for more items and when you click this you see um, your action center items you see many things you can see all settings notes network you can toggle things on and on real easily from the action center and your notifications appear on top of it and your clear all buttons on top but in chrome os you still have um, icons here and when you click on it when you click on this side this is what you get and this is all that there is and you can click on each one for more options and when you click this button right here, it shuts down. It doesn't ask you phone to sleep or anything. It just shuts down the computer. And you have your settings, your lock button and everything. And next to it is the notifications. And when you click this settings button next to it, you can toggle on and off what's, which applications you want to receive notifications from. And that's it for the launcher. Next up is browser. In Chrome OS, the, the only browser that comes pre-installed is um chrome of course and with with this this is the only browser that runs like a desktop in chrome os if you want any other browser other than chrome you have to go to the play store and download a new browser but the browser works as a mobile browser not as a desktop browser chrome is the only browser that works as a desktop browser in chrome os in windows on the other hand it comes with microsoft edge pre-installed on it and you can go to the um, web of course to download um, Chrome or to download Mozilla Firefox to download any browser that you want and any browser that you download in Windows will run as a desktop browser not as a mobile browser and that's that's it for browser next up is ability to download things from the internet so in Windows you can download anything when you go to the web you can download anything that you want so let's say i say adobe premiere you can download anything that you want in chrome in windows operating system and um you can download something like adobe premiere adobe stock adobe effect like anything you can download anything you want from the internet in windows there's no restrictions or anything like that but in chrome os you really can't download anything the only thing you can download from the internet is something like a pdf document and that's that's a pretty much about it like a lot of apps a lot of softwares are not designed for chrome operating system and something like windows you can download mac os 
you can install Mac on your Windows like I did. I have Mac on my Windows here. But in Chrome OS, you cannot do that. You cannot install something like Mac or a different software on, on Chrome. Um, that's it for being able to download something from the internet. Next up is software. And in Windows, you can run any software that you want, any software that you can think of. You can run it on Windows. Seriously, like any software at all can run on Windows. But in Chrome, the only software it can run is Google products, Google apps, Google softwares are the only ones it can run. So Google softwares, anything that you can download from the Google Play Store and things that you can find through extensions. So when you go um, in your web browser, you can click on this and click on tools and you can go to um, extensions. Um, and then when you scroll down, you can get more extensions or you can go just Google Just go to Google Browser or Google um, web store and you can get more extensions So anything you can get from this extension and Play Store and Google software Those are the only things that run on Chrome OS, but on Windows anything runs on it and um, speaking of Play Store So it's just like um, Android Play Store like it's like just like the Play Store you find in any Android phone and But the thing is that you cannot run any Microsoft products on Chrome OS So if you go to something like the Play Store and type in Microsoft Word, it doesn't show up It doesn't come up because Chrome is not compatible with Chrome operating system and it cannot run on Chrome Something like Microsoft um, OneDrive and Microsoft app is available, but that's about it. Microsoft Excel, Microsoft OneNote Anything Microsoft cannot run on Chrome operating system. So if you want to um, do um, Word documents, you have to use Google Docs. You have to use Google products for every single thing. But something like 8Bopu is, is compatible with Chrome operating system. So you can download it on your Chrome, uh, Chrome operating, Chrome laptop, Chromebook and use it. But it, the thing is that when you go to an Android phone, you can download something, you can download Microsoft products, but you can't do that with a Chromebook. So even the Chrome, even the um, Play Store found in a Chromebook is very limiting. It's very limited to what you can. The only thing find, the only thing you can find in a Chromebook Play Store is things that are compatible with your Chromebook. On the other hand, when you go to something like Windows Web st Windows um, Store, you can see so many things, and you can download very high intensive games. You have access to Xbox. You don't have Xbox on Chrome OS, so you have X Xbox games. You can connect your Xbox and stuff, and you have so many different um, apps that are compatible with Windows. And this is what Windows Store looks like. And it's very rich and, and stuff so that's basically it up next is settings when you go to the settings menu in chrome os this is what the settings menu looks like it's just like a android 7.0 settings menu this is what it looks like and when you go to this bar right here and you see more options on the left side for you to click and you know change some things on, in Windows, on the other hand, the, when you click this, let's say you go to all settings. This is what your settings menu looks like. I have so many different options. And let's say you go to ease of access, for example. Then you see your items and you can scroll through and change your settings. And last but not least, the um, security update. So in Windows, you have Windows Defender that actively scans your laptop for viruses and um you know protects your laptop but in chrome os it does the security thing like behind the scene like you won't know like it's doing security updates like you won't know like it's scanning for viruses or anything like that so it's kind of like silent but in windows like you know like when it's doing security updates or when it's scanning for a virus or anything like that so that's basically it for this video guys if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one in the meantime i'm out i will see you on the next video bye